The IDF is responsible for defending the citizens of Israel and will not compromise its ability to ensure that Israel's borders are secure and defensible from terrorist networks and their state sponsors who seek the destruction of Israel by targeting its civilians. That is why we must reserve the right to be able to inspect ships which carry cargo of an unknown nature to an area governed by Hamas, a terror organization which does not recognize the state of Israel, proclaims in its charter its desire to destroy Israel, and regularly commits acts of terror against Israeli civilians, most recently firing an anti-tank missile from the Gaza Strip at a school bus traveling in Israel killing a 16-year-old boy. We have seen enough examples of how the sea is being used as a means for smuggling mass amounts of weaponry for the purpose of arming terror groups. The Victoria, the Corinne, and the Santorini, all disguised as peaceful civilian ships. So it is no wonder, then, that Israel needs to thoroughly examine all vessels determined to arrive to the Gaza Strip, so that none of the cargo will be used as ammunition used against its own people. It is also crucial to question who stands behind these so-called charitable organizations intent on undermining Israel's legitimacy to defend itself by sea, air or land. Many of these organizations are merely front groups for Hamas and the Muslim Brotherhood, hiding their true motives of providing financial support and publicity to terror organizations. Regardless, we have stated in the past, as we do now, that we are willing to transfer any goods and supplies from these ships to the Gaza Strip via the land crossings following a comprehensive security check. The IDF, along with the Ministry of Defense and in coordination with the international aid organizations, has dedicated enormous efforts in transferring goods and construction materials to Gaza. We will continue these efforts and will fulfill our commitment to the people of Israel so that they may live in safety and security. We cannot afford to outsource Israel's security to the international community.